if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Hello and welcome. I'm so excited that you guys decided to stop in today and watch this video. I kind of switched up things just a little bit and I hope you really like it. So I went ahead and decided to start this day with giving Bodie a walk. I actually knew that I wanted to give him a bath later and I kind of wanted to wear him out a little bit, which honestly, let's be honest honestly, <laughs> he never gets wore out. So as you can see, he basically takes me for a walk. It's the cutest thing and I absolutely love it. So once we got finished with our walk, I went ahead and played with him for just a little bit. This is his absolute favorite thing to do. He will sit in this backyard and play frisbee or ball until he literally passes out. Like I have to put the toys away. I have to hide them and make him come inside. He loves it. I love it. And it was a gorgeous day. It's starting to feel so nice outside and I'm here for it. If it could stay like this all year round, it would just be perfect. But I'm actually really getting excited for the fall weather to come. Let me know down in the comments if you're ready for the cooler weather too. I, I just, I absolutely love it. Like when the leaves start to change and it just gets a little bit cooler outside, like sweatshirt weather, that's my absolute favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and brush Bodie now before I give him a bath. It just really helps with all of the fur that ends up in my bathtub. A lot of people have told me just give him a bath outside. I'm like, have you met Bodie? This is, this is basically an indoor dog. Um, we don't do that. I just do it in the bathtub and he sits really well. You guys will see he sits really, really well and lets me do it. But then once he's out, He's a maniac. So we're going to go ahead and get him here in the bathtub. And as you can see, he was not tired. You can kind of see the look in his face right here that he was trying to make an escape, but then he thought twice about it. So I wanted to go ahead and include this. I think I asked you guys on Instagram not too long ago what you guys would like to see in a video. A lot of you said giving Bodhi a bath. A lot of you said a what's for dinner. And I've briefly explained that I kind of want to do a lot of that stuff like on my vlog channel, but I went ahead and decided to add it in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, he sits here so well for me to get him clean. It just takes forever. He's a big boy and, um, I, but, but we love it and he loves it and he gets filthy dirty. Like he begs to go outside all day long. His feet are disgusting. I think at one point I was telling him, I was like, your feet are so dirty. All the stuff that was coming off his feet, that's basically where all the dirt is because everything else he keeps pretty clean. So I went ahead and finished up his bath and I am so upset because my battery died like right in the middle of giving him a bath. And I know you guys probably really would love to have seen this whole entire thing. And I promise you, I will do it again. But we just had to go ahead and finish getting all this done. There was no way I could leave him in there while I went to change my battery. He would have escaped and it would not have been pretty. It would have been a big soapy dog all over my house. But before we get too much further into the video, I wanted to let you guys know that this is a collaboration with two of my very very best friends here on YouTube. This is Jubara. Her real name is Barb and I absolutely love her. I know you guys have heard me talk about her so many times and I'm never going to stop. If you guys have not seen her channel yet, please go over and check her out. I'm going to have her information in my description box. She is a gem. If you like my style of cleaning videos, if you like my style of personality, you are absolutely going to love her. And also, you know, I couldn't do a best friend collab without my girl, Rosa. Her information is also going to be in my description box as well. Absolutely love her. We have become such good friends over the last couple of years and I could not ask for a better set of besties. You guys are going to love them. Again, if you've not checked their channels out, all of their information is going to be in my description box below. And if you're coming from Barb or Rose's channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoy today's video. I would love for you to go and check out a couple more videos. Just take a look around my channel. And if you like what you see, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and become a part of my crazy YouTube family. I absolutely love you guys. And just let me know in the comments below if you're new. That way I can come and say hi but I'm going to go ahead and get in this kitchen and quit talking your ear off for just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get everything cleaned up, unloaded, wiped down. That way I can start on the next thing. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Hand in my hand, looking at the sunset, man, you look 
looking good tonight I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you do After I finished up in the kitchen, I decided to go ahead and clean Bodie's collar. And all I do is just fill my sink up with the hottest water I can find. And I'm going to dump just a little bit of free and clear Tide powder along with some borax and what is the other thing? OxyClean. That's what it is. It's just a little mix of that. That way, nothing harsh. It's not going to irritate him or anything like that. And I just drop it in there and I let it soak for just, you know, however long I feel like it I just walked off and did some other things but I went ahead and let that soak then I got it back out rinsed it off really well that way there was nothing left on it and just hung it over the sink to dry and it literally didn't take long at all and I absolutely love 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 this collar this is not sponsored whatsoever but this collar is the absolute best and they have so many different ways and different things that you can do I got this from Tacticup Tactapup T A C t-i-p-u-p -I, -P, I think um it was a little bit pricey i would say maybe like 70 dollars um but they do the embroidering like you see and they also have the little american flags all the stuff that you can add to it check them out if you haven't if you have a pet and you're looking for a new collar but we just absolutely love them but now i'm gonna go ahead and get into this amazing dinner this is one of my absolute favorite comfort foods and i can eat this all year all year round all year long, not just the fall. So Ruben's mom decided to um, go ahead and make this for me. I did help. See, I grated cheese and I cut onions, but we're going to make enchiladas and Spanish rice. And what she went ahead and did was use just a rotisserie chicken. You can use regular chicken and just boil it and shred it up, or you can use beef. So once she has that all shredded, she adds it to a pan with just a little bit of oil and starts to get that nice and hot. Um, another thing is she does not measure. So I'm just going to let you see exactly what she does and I'll tell you what she uses, but I'm telling you what, this stuff is absolutely amazing and you can add whatever you want to it. We just did cheese and onions, but you can add peppers or whatever you'd like. We actually did two separate things of it because Reuben's sister does not do onions. So we did one with and one without. Also that little chopping thing, absolutely amazing. I think I have it in my Amazon store, not quite sure. I think probably everyone in America already has one. But what she does is adds just a half of that taco seasoning packet and salt and pepper. You can do that to taste. And then she's gonna run it over to the sink and add water to it. Again, like I said, 
she does not measure. But it's basically like if you were making tacos and you put the taco seasoning pack it in your beef. It's just the same thing. So this is what it's going to look like once everything kind of gets together and starts to marry each other in flavor and it boils a little bit. Um, it's just going to start to heat up and be amazing awesome. So next on to the rice, she has another pan with a little bit of oil in it and then you just add rice until it covers up all of that oil. If you've made Spanish rice before, you know this is how it goes. You just add it on there, you add your seasonings, you add your water and then you cover that bad boy and you don't touch it. You don't stir it. You don't mess with it. So this is what it should look like once you have that in the pan. And next she's going to go ahead and move on to, she calls it gravy. I called it sauce, but this is another pan with oil and she's going to add a little bit of flour in there. Again, just enough to make sure that it's all incorporated and she's going to get that nice and brown. She's going to add salt and pepper, garlic and onion powder, and then chili powder as well. And you just kind of mix that up almost like you would a sausage gravy, but it's just all of these seasonings together with that oil and the flour. It's absolutely chef's kiss amazing. Now I've never been able to make this very well myself. I can do the rice, but that's about it. So I actually love it when she comes up and it cooks for us. I will let her do it anytime. Um, but this is the chili powder. It's, I know it looks like it's a lot, but I promise you it's definitely needed. I think she also sometimes will use, um, cumin, but we didn't have any. And so that's where the garlic and the onion powder came in. Then she said just a little dabble of your tomato sauce. That's going to give it a little bit of flavor and that really nice red color. And then you just keep on mixing it until it's all nice and incorporated together. And then again, she adds water. I don't know how much this much, this is how much water she puts in there. <laughs> it's, um, it's just, I don't know, it's just by eyeball. I guess she's made it so long she just doesn't need to. Um, but I hope you guys are really understanding this. I don't even think I could write these directions down. So if you need to come back and watch this again, if you decide to make it, definitely do so because it is absolutely amazing. So you kind of have that on medium heat and you let that simmer down just a little bit and then you're going to have your gravy. Also, while your rice is browning, you don't want it to burn. So you kind of want to, you know, keep an eye on it. You just kind of want it to get like a golden brown color. And in the rice, she's also going to add more garlic, more onion powder, and salt and pepper. Then she's going to add the water to it. And then she said, and I quote, and just a swirl of tomato sauce. That's it. Just a swirl. So then you're going to go ahead and get that back onto the oven, cover it up, let it do its thing. Like I said, don't touch it. You're going to know when it's done. Basically, just kind of let it hang out. Just let it hang out. So then we're going to go ahead and take our tortillas and she just dips them in the sauce. We use corn tortillas. Again, you can use whatever you'd like. I think she's stacked up like four at a time. I'm just in amazement every time I watch her do this, but she's almost just like a little machine. She gets them all and uh, rolled up before I could even get, I was like, girl, you got to slow down. I'm, I got to film this for the people. And she's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> she's not used to it, but um, she did an amazing job. And you can see here, she's telling me exactly everything I need to do. Don't let the uh, tortillas get too wet because then they're going to tear and then one of them did tear and she was like don't show that <laughs> that's embarrassing I was like okay I won't but there it is I'll show you sorry um but you just put a little bit of the filling in the chicken or the beef whatever you've decided to use then you're going to add your cheese and onion or again anything that you decide to put in them you're going to roll them all up in your pan also make sure to grease your baking dish that way nothing sticks to it and once you get them all rolled up we added more cheese and onion and gravy to the top we pop those in to the oven. I think it was 450 for about 25 minutes. And they come out so ooey gooey delicious. Again, you can use whatever you want for the filling. You can use whatever kind of cheese that you want. It really makes no matter. Um, just whatever you like. But this is how we like them. And again, when the rice is done, you're going to know it's done. Make sure, like I said, don't mess with it. Um, you can probably be done with the rice as soon as the enchiladas come out of the oven. But I'm going to show you what these look like. And they didn't last. I mean, literally, we each probably ate like three apiece and they were gone within, I don't know, 10 minutes. But this is something that you can, again, also make beforehand and then just pop them in the oven whenever you're ready for them. And look at that rice. Oh, it is just perfection. So now that we're done with dinner, I'm going to go ahead and show you the last little bit of fall that I decided to do. I'm just going to go ahead and pick up all the stuff in the living room. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum. That way everything is nice and clean. And I had mentioned in my last video that I just didn't feel like doing a whole lot 
this year for fall. I did a huge declutter not too long ago and I got rid of so much stuff and I did end up going to Kirkland's and getting a couple things, but I did not spend a lot of money, I promise you. And these are things that I can keep around for a long time and it's, it's going to be fine. I did want to mention that Kirkland's is having an amazing sale right now. I don't know when you're going to be watching this video, but if you have a Kirkland's close to you, go and check them out. I think it was pretty much 40% off of all of the fall decor and 20% off the entire store. So I really did a good job on the stuff that I got. I decided to go ahead and get some of this plum colored, um, what is this like swag kind of like thing and I just wanted to switch it out from the green one that I've had on this sign for years I just kind of wanted to switch things up and bring in a different color I thought this color would be really pretty for fall I've seen so many other people that are using these plum colors and it just blew my mind I was like why have I not been doing this I just love this little pop of color so as you can see i was on the struggle bus for just a little bit trying to figure out exactly how i wanted to get this done but it turned out really pretty this is not as big as the one that i had up there before but i did figure it out we always figure it out so i really do like that i got this i think it was 9.99 and i ended up getting it for i don't know like maybe six something I'm not quite sure, but I think it was, I know it was less than $7. So if you're looking for anything like this, definitely hit up Kirkland's and you know, it just, I go in there for the smells kind of like when you used to go to Hollister just to smell everything. I know I did. Uh, Kirkland's is that adult thing for me. So this is how it turned out and I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my couple little things over here on the sofa table in the entryway. It was time to get rid of the bunny and I was so sad. Um, I know you probably can't see that, but that was $19.99 and I think I got it for $11. I actually ended up getting that at Michael's, I think. That's the only thing. No, it's not the only thing. That's a big fat lie. I got these leaves there at Michael's too. And I think I got these for like five bucks. The only thing about these is I just can't get them to sit right in this vase. And I'm kind of thinking that I need to shove something down there, but I just don't know what. If you guys have any ideas, definitely let me know. Um, and then I went ahead and used my, what was it? Um, this dough bowl. Yeah, I already had this, so I didn't have to purchase it. I used this on the other side, and then I got two of these bags of the cutest little fuzzy pumpkins ever. Again, I just kind of wanted to keep things really simple, and I thought that that would look really cute in that dough bowl. I think I ended up getting these for $11 as well. I absolutely just love them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I did for fall. And I'm, I'm really okay with it, to be honest with you. Again, I'm really liking this minimalist side of myself. I have gotten rid of so much stuff, but I do have a lot more decluttering to do. I've got to get in my kitchen and go through my towel drawers, my utensils, my spice cabinet, so many things that are coming up. I hope you guys are needing some decluttering motivation because I'm going to have a ton of that coming up for you guys. And I also hope that you liked this video, kind of just a little switch up. I've said many times before that with it just being me and Ruben here, sometimes my house just does not get dirty enough to do, you know, two to three cleaning videos a week. And I just didn't want to do something that I always do. So I thought this would be really fun, but this is how everything turned out on the table and I love it. Again, don't forget to go and check out Rosa and Barb's channel. All of their information is going to be in the description box below. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, but I got to go. I love you and appreciate you and I'll see you next time. Bye. There be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the